honestly, cervical RF isn't really that difficult. I mean, even though basic anatomy, and by basic anatomy I mean that you need to know kind of what the cervical spine looks like, so you need to be looking for the lateral mass. So, essentially, here's our, here's our little structure here. And this is the lateral mass in the articular pillars, okay? And essentially, what we're going to be trying to do over here with needle is coming at an approach where when we take a lateral, it ends up somewhat in the middle of the actual articular pillar of the lateral mass, okay? Does that make sense? So this is where our final needle position is going to be. How do we go about this? Well, if you're going for the straight um, posterior anterior view, what you're essentially going to go at is you're going to go until you actually hit the lateral portion of this, slide off the tip of that, and then angle your curve to go and kind of wrap around. Now, what ISIS teaches is that they actually teach that you should go and have three different approaches. You should go and have a straight approach, and you should have an angled approach so you can kind of get around the side. I don't generally do that, okay? And I generally just go with one approach, and then I go and direct my needle and turn my needle and kind of reposition it so that you can go and actually get those three lesions that we were talking about, okay? Now, generally over here, I'll do 60 for 60 seconds, okay, in the cervical area. 60, 60 degrees for 60 seconds of lesioning. Then you go and turn your needle, 60 degrees, 60 seconds. And if you feel that's appropriate, go with the third lesion also. 60 degrees for 60 seconds, okay? And that's going to, going to give you the widest field that you can go and have over here on the actual cervical spine, all right? So, now the key thing is this though, and this is actually very important for everybody to understand, is that when you're looking at this, and if you look at that image over there, it looks like a pretty, uh, pretty bad image, right? The, the image doesn't look that clear. Well, the very first thing that you want to go and do is you want to go and actually tilt your C arm enough in order to go and kind of see those facet joints, okay? Until you see those actual facet joints, you're really not going to want to be in a position where you're, your needle's going to be entering again. You can be looking at overlapping joints, you can be looking over, like overlapping bone, and an arthritic picture, and actually this is a really good Believe it or not, I mean, this is a very practically good cadaver to do this in. Because, quite frankly, it's not really, it's like very osteoarthritic. Look at that overlap over there. It looks like it's a very challenging kind of person to go and do it in. So, if you can do it over here on this cadaver, it's not going to be an issue. You can go and do it on your patients when you guys get back, okay?